Uh, this is the 40 meter landing craft boat. If your boat is uh, hated by other boats or rocks, I strongly recommend this one. Hello, this is Cindy from Longas Boat. Uh, behind me is a 40 meter landing craft passenger boat. And uh, today I invite uh, Roger to introduce the boat to you together. Welcome, Roger. Hello, it's uh, Roger from Gospel Boat. So we introduce the boat as a team for you today. Uh, this is the 40 meter landing craft boat and uh, with a 4 meter beam. It can carry both cargo and uh, passengers. Let's look at the transom area. It's uh, uh, designed for uh, four engines and you can install two engines also. The uh, shaft length is uh, 30 inch. Also, the transom is installed too thick to anti corrosion. There are four storage boxes for battery. Other box and the last right. Also, the materials we used are 50A3 marine grade aluminum plate, 6 mm. Transom also is 6 mm. And uh, for the bottom hole, for the side plate, we used is 5 mm. Look at this uh, hose, uh, it's for that self draining water. And uh, we have uh, the Removable hard top roof. Now let's look at the front door. The, the material we used is the aluminum checker plate floor. And for the inside, we all add the strength piece. These are the extension wrap. Look at this welding because the inside we welded with the uh, strength piece. And uh, the front door controlled by the winch. Also connected with the hinges. Let's look at the materials. We used all the three basic uh, stainless steel material and also uh, covered by the clothes because easy for reduce the noise. And uh, here installed the rubber to empty uh, the water tightness. The front arrow we designed is with floor design. It's okay. Our college Roger we are introduce the about boat for you now. Now I'm sit on the deck of the boat. We have plenty of seats, and now I sit one of the seats. You can see it's a very comfortable seat, and with armrest or with, uh, with aluminum frame. So this kind of seat is quite uh, functional. It's a small size, and but make very comfortable. And you can have the storage here to pose a life jacket. Then the backrest can be put down and can be put up as well. And also can be like uh, when you have some resting on the seat. And most important, we have the seat which can be removable. I have to remove this uh, seat base. And it's always uh, aluminum, so it's no any rusting. Then you see we have uh, plenty of seats. It's like uh, 20 rows with uh, two pieces each row. It's like 40 passengers on board. And after remove all these uh, seats, the loading capacity can be 10 tons roughly. So it's a very good loading capacity for the machines, for the heavy equipment, for the building materials. And it's a very good working boat. And then you can see we have uh, a long range roof with uh, fabric on the top. So this makes uh, weatherproof and also 
uh, you can put the curtain on the each side to make it uh, a totally 100% uh, weatherproof. Also, we have this uh, aluminum hatch, which is uh, watertight. And we do all the pressure testing around. It's no any leakage. And this one can be opened from this handle and put a lot of storage space inside. Also, this one is uh, very strong. That's why we put here also as loading for the cargoes. You can see when I stand, very strong. So no any pressure on this uh, hatch. Then you can see we have this uh, console, which is a uh, right console. And we pull this uh, aluminum on the bottom, so mix a better reading for the captain. So I can step on here, sit here. If you can look from the front, it's a very good reading. You can always see what's happening on the front. And when you're driving, it's a very good view as well. And here we put the storage space a lot for the like left jacket, other equipment. We have all the switch panels, all the gauges here on this uh, uh, patch. And then on the back, we have this uh, this can be designed for opening with a quick ladder. So you can go to go to the back for inspections. Also, the the engine, the voltage have to be installation from the back. So the reason why we make this is uh, when you step here. When you look on the, the back, on the chasm, and all the back with no any, no any inspection hatches. So this make sure when you have the water flow flow on the rail deck, so no any, any leakage on the boat hole. This is a very, very good, very functional one. And on the side, we have also with the storage. One, two, three, four. These are quite good for some storage of the tools or the maintenance of the engines. So, from this view, you can see the layout of this boat. It's very good boat. It's very suitable for the uh, Pacific Island, for the Southeast Asia, and for the Africa. So if you if you are on the market for this kind of boat, I strongly recommend this one. Uh, my colleagues just introduced you the outside of the boat. And now we are in the designer's office, so uh, we can show you the three D model and to show you something you can't see from the outside. And the, from the drawing, you can see the lens is uh, forty meter and the, the beam is four meter. The molded types is a uh, 2.1 meter, which is around uh, 7 foot. This will help make this boat an uh, open sea barge. And on the deck, we got a few watertight hatches. And uh, from the hatches, we can go, uh, go down the, the deck, and it can be used as the storage and uh, also for maintenance, so very convenient. And the, those red pieces are watertight frame. And uh, let's imagine the worst condition. If your boat is uh, hated by other boats or rocks, and uh, one of the compartment is uh, got water inside, the boat can be still float on the water because there's a few watertight compartments. And you can see the V how. The V how will very helpful to break the waves. Those those red frame are all watertight.
and the and the ganos, there are a few ventilations for the and the deck space. You know the the air in hot uh, in hot weather will be inflatable, and the two. Protect the frame and the, and the deck structure. The ventilation will breathe the fresh air to, uh, you know, to the ventilation to exchange the cold air, uh, for the hot air inside. And, uh, let's see the, the rear set. Here is another hatch. So the workman, the technician, can go from here to install the motors and also uh, do the wiring and uh, it's very convenient. And those pieces are also the whole pieces without hatch. So it will stop the water to come inside the house. Uh, this is the, the whole part that we, which you can not see from outside. And uh, all these features make this boat is very safe and a very convenient work for open sea uh, operation in vessel. Thank you.